Hi, I'm Rudy Winston with Canon USA. Over the next few minutes, we're going to introduce and give you some highlights of the new EOS 1DX Mark II camera. I'm going to be concentrating on still imaging aspects of this camera. We'll actually have a second video where my Canon colleague Brent Ramsey will highlight many of the new video functions of this camera. We'll take a look at what's new and reinforce what makes the 1D series so special. We won't have the luxury of time to go into great detail, but if you check Canon USA's Digital Learning Center website in the coming weeks, we'll give you more information and insight about the EOS 1DX Mark II and many of its new features. Join us for a brief first look at our new top-of-the-line professional camera, the EOS 1DX Mark II. We'll start with what's new in this camera, and there's no better place to start than the camera's performance. EOS 1DX Mark II is going to be able to shoot through the viewfinder at speeds up to 14 frames a second at full resolution with full AI servo autofocus. It can shoot up to 16 frames a second in live view with focus and exposure locked. We understand that not every user is going to need these kind of super fast continuous shooting speeds. So right in the camera's menu, you can actually adjust the shooting speeds to match your needs. For instance, the continuous high speed setting can be set anywhere from 14 frames a second down to two frames a second, depending on what you need at a given time. We've added continuous silent shooting as well for when you need to be a little more quiet, and that can go up to five frames a second. CFAST memory cards open the door in this camera for tremendous burst rate capability. EOS 1DX Mark II has one standard compact flash card slot and a second card slot that's dedicated exclusively for the high performance CFAST cards. CFAST cards give us tremendous, tremendous performance in terms of burst rate. If you look at what's possible with the new 1DX Mark II, we've virtually doubled the burst rate when you're using standard compact flash cards with UDMA7 shooting speed. But look at the burst rate capability when you use a CFAST 2.0 cards. 170 consecutive raw images in one burst, and that's full resolution 14-bit raw images. In terms of the camera's autofocusing system, there's a lot new there as well. When you look in the viewfinder, you're going to see two things. 61 selectable autofocus points and full-time red illumination of those points. You always see the points illuminated in red in any lighting condition from sunlight down to total darkness. Now, the AF sensor is actually completely new. We've expanded the coverage area vertically, so the AF points cover more of the shooting area. Even more important to many of our customers is going to be that when you combine a Canon version 3 teleextender with select Canon telephoto lenses, you can autofocus at f8 at up to all 61 focusing points. And when all 61 points are active at f8, you have cross-type AF coverage with 21 of those points in the central area. The 61-point AF array allows us to change the size of an AF point over a broad range, anywhere from a single point to expanded points to the full 61-point area that we call automatic point selection. The AI servo performance, the ability to track moving subjects, has been improved even over what was possible with the 1DX. In particular, the camera does a better job with subjects that are changing speeds as you shoot them. We have vastly improved face detection technology during metering and autofocus as well. In terms of image quality, the camera's got a brand new 20.2 million pixel CMOS imaging sensor. It gives us superior low light image quality, less noise at higher ISOs. Now, the ISO range on the camera starts at 100 and goes to 51,200. It is expandable down to ISO 50 on the low end and up to ISO 409,600 on the high end. EOS 1DX Mark II truly makes the most of its 20 million pixel resolution. There are technologies in the camera to enhance detail, sharpness, and overall image quality. 
and it's the first time we've ever had it in an EOS camera, diffraction correction, where the camera can give us enhanced specialized sharpening when we're shooting pictures at small lens apertures where we tend to get softness from the lens diffraction phenomenon, and even at wider apertures, this will tend to counter some of the softening that we get from the low pass filter in front of the imaging sensor. The camera body on the EOS 1DX Mark II gives us all the virtues we've had on previous EOS 1D series cameras. It's tremendously strong, all metal inside and out, magnesium alloy chassis, magnesium alloy shell. The shape of the camera has actually been refined a little bit to make it a little easier for people with small hands to hold for extended periods of time. The camera has tremendous weather resistance. It's got 400,000 shot durability with the shutter, the drive system, and the mirror box tested to 400,000 exposures. The viewfinder, such an important part in a professional camera, is the best in the Canon EOS system. A large viewfinder with 0.76 times magnification, outstanding contrast and brightness. It's just a joy to work through this viewfinder. There's a new battery pack for the camera called the Canon LPE19. It's a high energy lithium ion battery pack, and it's easy to distinguish from the previous generation batteries by its gray color and a distinctive red stripe. You'll see a similar red stripe on the new charger unit for this new battery as well. Now, our engineers have done Canon customers a big favor. This battery is the same size and has the same electrical contacts as previous generation LPE4 series batteries. So, we have almost total back and forth compatibility with the new battery and the older ones. You can use older batteries in the new camera, you can use the new LPE19 in the older cameras. And there's only a couple of things you have to keep in mind. One is that when you use the older batteries in the new camera, the maximum shooting speed is gonna to drop to about 12 frames a second. And the only other thing is that to fully charge the new higher energy battery, you need to use the new charger with the red stripe. The camera's control layout, virtually the same as on the previous 1DX series camera. One refinement has been the live view video switch where we've now gone over to a new switch similar to what we have on the 5D Mark III and cameras like the EOS 7D Mark II. EOS 1DX continues the tradition of tremendous customization potential of controls in the camera. One example, the depth of field preview button on the camera can be assigned any one of 13 possible functions. The interface to computers on the camera is USB 3.0. There is a headphone jack built in for video users and an ethernet port that we'll talk a little bit about later for wired network connectivity. Exposure control has benefited from some new technologies in the EOS 1DX Mark II as well. Starting with the metering sensor, it's now a 360,000 pixel RGB color metering sensor, giving us outstanding metering and subject and scene detection. This RGB color meter is used for ambient metering, for ETTL flash metering, and in some situations assists the focusing system in terms of identifying a subject and its location and helping the focusing system change focus points as it moves across the frame or up and down in the frame. Another new feature that this 360,000 pixel RGB metering system brings is improved flicker detection. We've had flicker detection technology for still images in some previous cameras like the EOS 7D Mark II and the 5DS series models. But in the new 1DX Mark II, it's been enhanced. Now, even if flickering illumination is only happening in a very small area of a scene, this system is smart enough and sensitive enough to detect that and actually change shutter timing so, so that the shutter will fire only at moments of absolute maximum brightness of whatever that flickering light source is. Auto ISO is fully functional and implemented in the EOS 1DX Mark II. You can user define your lowest shutter speed you wanna work with when you're in the program mode or the aperture priority mode. That can be anywhere from one full second to an 8,000th of a second. And you have full exposure compensation available with auto ISO in the manual exposure mode. Live view benefits in a number of important ways as well. First and foremost, 
EOS 1DX Mark II is the first full frame camera from Canon with dual pixel CMOS AF. This is a new second generation phase detection focusing technology off the imaging sensor. It is really, really fast. You combine this with the 1DX Mark II's touchscreen LCD monitor in live view, and you can simply touch an area of the screen and then bam, the camera's gonna focus right on that point. Touch another area of the screen, and again, the camera will just zip into focus with tremendous speed and positive action. Dual pixel CMOS AF technology is a big differentiation between Canon and many of our competitors. In terms of live view, the performance in live view when you're shooting is excellent as well. We said before, the camera is capable of up to 16 frames a second in live view at full resolution. And a great new feature that we didn't have on the 1DX is that during live view, when you're shooting continuously at high speed, the LCD monitor will remain active. So you can actually follow a subject and see each frame pop up on the screen and have a much better sense of your composition, where the subject is and so on, than you could before where the screen went blank. Speaking of the LCD monitor, this LCD monitor on the 1DX Mark II is the highest resolution monitor we've had on a digital SLR to date with 1.6 million dots. That contrasts with previous cameras which have topped off at about a million dots. EOS 1DX Mark II is the first EOS 1D series camera to have a built-in GPS unit. Now that can put GPS coordinate information in your shooting data, and it also has a GPS logging function that can literally let you track where the camera has moved throughout a day and then let you plot that on a map. In terms of network and Wi-Fi capability, start with the fact that 1DX Mark II has built-in Ethernet capability. You can plug an Ethernet cable into the camera and connect that to a computer for wired LAN capability. This is going to give you network access and the potential to do it over extreme distances and without having to worry about Wi-Fi interference from other photographers, other devices, and so on. In terms of wireless connectivity with an accessory wireless file transmitter, it is compatible with the previous WFT-E6 unit for the original 1DX camera. But we are introducing the WFT-E8A wireless transmitter in the North American market. This transmitter is going to give us some important enhancements. First off, it'll give us access to the 5 gigahertz bandwidth, which means a bandwidth that usually has far less traffic and interference on it in most locations than the more common 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. And it'll also give us access to a new wireless mode, 802.11ac, which is faster than any of the previous Wi-Fi modes we've had up to this point. Our wireless transmitters will let you transmit from the camera to an access point up to 490 feet, or about 150 meters away from the camera. Remote shooting with the Wi-Fi unit can be done in several different methods, from a computer or from a smartphone or a tablet. In terms of what the EOS 1DX Mark II brings to the market, and perhaps what it brings to you, this is far more than just a sports or a photojournalism camera. It would be tremendous because of its image quality and performance for fields like nature, wildlife. Think what the focusing system gives you for things like birds in flight with this camera. It would be a tremendous camera for event and wedding shooting. It would be outstanding in the studio for things like portrait shooting. Especially consider high volume portrait applications like school photography where you might be shooting thousands of pictures a week. The durability and ruggedness of this camera really makes it a natural for those kind of environments. The video features of this camera are going to make it a very versatile multimedia camera. And let's take a look for a moment at how the 20 million pixels can be applied in a couple of real life situations. If you're doing magazine work for instance, at 300 dpi, the 20 million pixels in this camera mean you can directly, without enlarging the file, print to an 18 by 12.6 inch size. That's more than enough for a double page spread in a typical magazine. If what you do is make large prints, consider this. With a wide format printer at 200 dpi, 
you can output nearly a 20 by 30 inch print, again, without enlarging the file. The bottom line is simple. EOS 1DX Mark II continues the EOS 1D tradition of putting a versatile and assignment ready professional camera into the hands of many different types of serious SLR shooters. You don't have to be a sports photographer or a photojournalist to understand the virtues this camera brings to the shooting experience. If you're a serious SLR user, this camera deserves your consideration. Thank you for joining us. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston.